My name is Nicholas Harrell. I'm Julie Harrell. And we have Raf here with us. You might hear him in the background. <laughs> and we're here today to uh, speak to families who are battling addiction or who have loved ones who may be battling addiction as well. Um, so any, for any of you who don't know me, just a quick rundown. Um, I was a daily substance user for roughly 13, 14 years. Um, that included cocaine, crack cocaine, fentanyl, oxycontin, and methadone. Um, but now I've been free from those chains of addiction for five years. And when I say free, I mean completely 100% substance free. Um, so anybody who tries to tell you that that is impossible, um, that's not the truth because I'm living proof. And I just want to give you a quick rundown of why I believe that I am uh, able to stand here today and tell you that. So um, I was blessed with the opportunity to go to a Christian rehabilitation center. Uh, my plan going into rehab was not to, uh, to become a Christian or to live my life substance free. It was simply to, uh, to get off opiates um, and become a better drug dealer. But uh, after about three months of being immersed in, um, in a church-oriented environment, um, I didn't have one moment that um, just changed my mind and made me believe in Jesus. But over a period of, as I said, three months, um, there were so many different opportunities where I was showing love by people showing the love of Jesus by people who are part of that church community um, that really changed my heart and made me believe that, you know what, Jesus is real, that I am worthy of living a substance-free life and that it is possible as well. Something that comes to mind for me is 1 Corinthians 10, 13, which ties in exactly to what he's saying. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. And I think that Nick has totally encompassed that and been able to endure uh, temptations that are, the world is filled with them. You turn every street corner, you can easily get whatever you want. And um, I think that God has made, God has been his tool and his armor through this whole journey. Yeah, um, as I said, five years completely substance free. It's been great. And I don't want to stand here and tell you that, um, you know, it's, it's all about coming to church or reading your Bible or doing uh, Bible studies and stuff like that. Like all that stuff is definitely important. But the most important thing for me and the thing that um, I believe has sustained me throughout these five years and has not only sustained me, but allowed me to flourish during this time was having that relationship with Jesus and trusting in the fact that no matter what I do, you know, there's been a lot of ups and downs. Um, having lost my father this year, that was really tough. And, you know, I was upset with God for a long time. And, you know, I still haven't fully wrapped my head around that. But the fact of the matter is this, quite simply put, no matter what I do, I can't do anything that's going to change the love that Jesus has for me. I can't do anything that changes the sacrifice that he made for me. So no matter what, he's going to love me. Not to say that it's okay to go out and continue doing things that are wrong. But he loves you. So if you feel like you've gone too far, or you've done too much, or you have something that's unforgiven, um, that's not true. Maybe in the world's eyes, and maybe, you know, in the eyes of your family, it changes your relationship and things like that. But when it comes to Jesus, he loves you no matter what. And he doesn't hold anything against you. So I was looking up different scripture that uh, would apply to this uh, topic about addiction and the Lord's Prayer came up, Matthew 6, 13 in particular, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And 2 Timothy 1, 7, for God gave us the spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Like everything ties together, but the fact that the Lord's Prayer right at the end says, not or lead us not into temptation deliver us from the evil one that temptation is is everywhere and it, this prayer specifically i mean encompasses so much but the fact that it directly correlates to addiction was just i don't know it kind of was like a aha moment today so i think we could finish with the lord's prayer together yeah okay 
Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.